Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa if you haven't been here before. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be playing with a few different products. We're going to be playing with a Profusion palette and I also have a Profusion blush palette and I have um, a few things that I got in my Ipsy Plus this month that we're going to be playing with. So if that's something you want to see then just keep watching. All right, I'm going to take off my glasses and we're going to get into this Profusion palette. It is called Golden Nights and it's an 18 shade palette. That's what it looks like again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this shade up here and put that in my mm -hmm. crease as my transition shade. Mm -hmm. And I'm using my Alomar crease control brush, little fan type brush that I love using in my crease. All right, and now I'm going to take in the shade beside it, this darker brown shade, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner, a little bit in my outer crease as well. And now with my Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender, I'm going to take this darker chocolate brown down here and I'm going to put it in my outer corner to deepen it up a little bit more. And now I'm going to take this gold shade right here, this gold shimmer. I'm going to put it in the middle of my lid. And I'm going to take this kind of yellowy gold, the lighter gold shade, and put that mm -hmm. on the inner part of my lid. All right, in my Ipsy Plus, I got this TYNT Dew Balm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to use it as a primer today. Let's see how it looks. know about that it's kind of greasy but I'll have to keep playing with it also in my ipsy I got this makeup forever ultra HD invisible cover foundation and it's in the shade Y218 And also this IT Cosmetics Skin Hugging Foundation Brush I got in my Ipsy. So I'm going to use that for my foundation.
Yeah, I'm not sure about this brush. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in C3. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dot that under my eyes. hit pan on my number seven powder oh and I use my number seven powder to set my under eyes real quick all right and now I'm taking the profusion blush and glow blush bronzer and highlight palette and I'm gonna take bronzer one right here and bronze up my face And I'm going to take blush one and put a little blush on my face. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Put a little too much blush on my face. And I'm going to take highlight two because it kind of matches my eyes. I don't think I'm going to do anything to my lower lash line. I'm just going to hop off here and throw on some Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. And then I'll be right back. And also in my Ipsy, I got these two lip glosses. There's this one in Goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this one is called Seriously. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to use golds to kind of go with the gold look. It's just a clear with some gold. We'll see what this looks like. It smells really good. And I'm going to spray my face with the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last in Mango Coconut. Mm -hmm. Alright, well this is the final look using a bunch of different products that I got uh, from Profusion and Ipsy. Um, just to go over them. The Profusion Golden Nights eyeshadow palette. I really like the color story. I think it's beautiful. Um, I like the shades that I use. The shimmers aren't as popping as what I would like, but um, they're kind of understated. But I still think that I came out with a beautiful eye look. Um, I wasn't sure at first just because of how the shimmers were acting but I think it turned out it turned out looking cute with everything so 
the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. This I wasn't sure about at first, but I think it's just maybe where it's set. It was really liquidy when I first pumped it out, but I did a second pump and it was a little bit thicker. I think it just needed to kind of settle or I don't know, shake up or what. Um, and I think it turned out looking really pretty. I really like the way that it, it turned out looking. It's kind of a, a natural finish. And I think it looks really beautiful. So um, I'm going to keep trying this and let you know what else I think about it. Um, this brush though, I think that was part of the problem was is that was it was liquidy at first plus, plus the brush was kind of having a hard time with it. So I'm not sure about this brush yet. Um, I'll have to try it with some other foundations, but it just didn't do well with that foundation. I wound up using my um, BK Beauty 101 brush and it did a lot better the next go round. Plus it was a little thicker, so that helped as well. But, um, so I'm not sure about the brush. Uh, this, the T-Y-N-T Dew Balm, I'm not sure about that either. I'll have to keep kind of playing with it, see what I think. It kind of feels a little sticky and weird. The Blush and Glow Blush Bronzer and Highlight Palette, I really think that is beautiful. I love the shades that I used. I think it actually turned out looking really pretty and matched my eye look very well. Um, I'm excited to use this highlight one. I think it'll be really pretty. Um, and also blush two. I think it'll be really pretty. So I'm excited to keep using it. The Dose of Colors lip glosses, I love. Um, they smell great, they look great. I'm excited to have them in my collection. And I think that's everything. But overall, I think the only things that I really had issues with was the brush and this uh, Dew Balm were the two things that were really iffy to me. Everything else, the lip gloss, the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and the foundation, I really enjoyed and think turned out really great. So, I really love the look that I came out with. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to become a part of our family here. Also, ring the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload my amazing content. And that's going to be all for me today. I hope you are staying happy, staying healthy, taking care of yourselves, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.